Hello everyone, this is your girl Fabulous Annie. How is everyone doing? Hello everyone, welcome to Fabulous Annie Show. I'm your girl Fabulous Annie. What's up everyone? <laughs> today we have a lot of a lot a lot to cover up today i'm telling you a lot to cover i'm telling you so much has happened this whole week first of all last week i told you guys about celebrating um uh, uh, hookups and everything well michael b jordan and uh, laura harvey are still going strong <laughs> They're still going strong, so that is awesome. We're gonna be watching them, and we also wish them well too. Well, this week was kind of somehow because we had a very interesting breakup. This breakup was between Ben Affleck and his girlfriend, who are both were both involved in a movie called Deeper. You know, I think that's where they met on the set and everything. She has met his mom. She has even interacted with his kids and everything. You know, and also had moved in with him into his house. Well, some people walked by the, the the house and reported that they saw a full cardboard of her thrown outside in the trash. Can you believe that? That is the most amazing breakup story I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> you break up with somebody and not only that, break it up, but publicly like putting them in the trash. Can you believe that? It was, oh Lord, I don't know. But people... People allegedly assume that it was Casey, uh, you know, uh, Ben Affleck's brother, who threw her out in the trash. But he said, no, he wasn't him that did it. They don't know who did it, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, so people were speculating that um, it was alleged that Ben Affleck didn't want kids and she wanted kids. So he was like, well, let's just cut this thing off before it goes any further, you know. But previously before then, Ben Affleck was on a uh, podcast where he said he was defending Jennifer Lopez like strongly. So people were like, oh my goodness, don't tell me that he's thinking that he wants Jennifer Lopez back, you know. Well, we're going to keep an eye on that one, you know. So, but he, he was there. He was talking about how ben, um, Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Lopez has been through so much persecutions you know some celebrity news we have uh, Winnie Williams and her brother were quarreling because her brother Tommy accused her of not being present at their mom's uh, Shelly uh, Wilson's uh, funeral and that uh, she used it to spend time with her ex-husband and her son because it was alleged that Winnie Williams and her ex-husband ex um, Kelvin Hunter that he was invited, he, he appeared at her mother's funeral and um, but three of them herself and Kelvin Jr. all went out to um, to get something to eat or whatever, you know. And also during Winnie Williams' show, she said that, you know, she, she told, uh, she said that her brother knew quite well that she was at her mother's funeral, you know, that she didn't just skip the funeral to go and hang out with her ex-husband. And she said the ex-husband smelled really good. So we're like going to be looking at Winnie like, Winnie, what's up? <laughs> you trying to get back with your ex-husband? But she told, she told us uh, during her show that she wasn't going to get back with her uh, ex-husband. She just admired him for being the man that he is and how he defended her during, I think there was a fight at the mother's uh, funeral between her brother, uh, who is like a 53-year-old um, guy and a younger a member of their family who's half his age and um, she said that her husband asked her if he should go and break it up because they were all like older people there who couldn't fight for them but the husband went and broke up whatever was happening you know not to embarrass the family so that's the news from Wendy uh, Williams you know so we're gonna be keeping an eye on that information also celebrity baby news is coming very soon the host of the daily show also the host of the um it's called the daily pop on e and also the day, the nightly pop on e um megan stewart she took her last day from the daily show and she's expecting a baby in two weeks is a baby girl <laughs> she happens to be married to phil uh, dr phil's um second son and um he's a musician 
And she said that she's looking forward to having the next couple of weeks, you know, just to relax and get ready for her baby before she has to be so busy and occupied. So we're going to be bringing you the pictures of the babe, new baby very soon. You know, we wish Megan very well. Megan is awesome in everything. I think she got married not to rec um, most recently um, to... Um, Dr. Phil's um, younger son, it was an amazing wedding full of colors and uh, I mean, flowers and everything. And it was unusual wedding because she wore something like a long shirt, you know, a long cream kind of shirt. This is her second marriage. You know, she married her, um, is high, or whether it was high school sweetheart or her boyfriend of many years. So this is her second marriage. So we're wishing her very well, um, her and her husband uh, very well. And uh, we can't wait to see um baby mcgreal <laughs> yeah so that's awesome so if as you are looking forward to this weekend we have all the movie breakdown for you all the movie breakdown i'm telling you you know already that coming to america is coming out in march i think it's march 5th and it's gonna be on amazon prime so it's it's gonna be amazing and they said uh from what i've heard about the uh, coming to america too it Eddie said it beats the first one. So I am looking forward to it for real. <laughs> in this, um, in the preview of the movie, the movie is like Eddie, whose dad is dying. You know, I don't think in the movie, Eddie Murphy has a kid yet. So he has to go back to America to look for his son that he left behind. But I don't remember in Coming to America 1, him ever mixing with anybody else apart from the lady that he was mixing with you know so how do we have a kid in america so well we're gonna be watching looking forward to the movie you know and it has all the returning um characters in it you know um so we're gonna be looking forward to that to see how this plays out you know so mark a calendar for that we also have another a new movie called Macon and maria oh my goodness zendia acts as maria and oh my goodness some freak skin so some 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 things happening between her and guess who else john washington guess who john washington is john washington is denzel washington's son can you believe that denzel is such a grown-up kid now that can be doing romance oh we're gonna be looking forward to that one isn't is it kind of like a drama and um romance and things so we're gonna that's a good one to look forward to too and then also, we also have another movie by Justin um, Timberlake. It is called um, Pama. That's what it's called. It's, it's, it's about this, um, I think it's, it's about this, um, it's like a high school or a former high school person that goes back home to live with his family member and then gets attached to a kid that is abandoned by parents or something like that. So he brings help raise the kids in the right way something like that that's what the movie is about and that movie is is going to be on um that movie is going to be on hulu i think february 26 or apple tv january 21st so mark your calendar for that movie we also also have some great news too the bridgerton returns for the second season <laughs> i know you guys want to see just that 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 tall drink of water. Come on now, let me know. Come on, the Duke. <laughs> well, this season is going to be focused more on the Lord. Uh, you know, the, 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 the Lord Bridgerton, who is the eldest of the Bridgerton family, and then him finding um, a girl to get married to. Because if you remember from the uh, first um, the, the first season, his mom was on him because he was so focused on his sister making a good example and all sorts of things, finding the woman, yet he was with somebody else. I hope I didn't know. Um, hope I did not, um, if though for those who haven't watched it, you know, go and watch it. It's such a wonderful show. And uh, so this time they said it's going to focus more on him, you know, finding uh, a, a right girl for their, for, for him. So I am excited. And I also hope that they do bring the tall drink of water in it. Cause I know I'm looking forward to it. I know you are too. <laughs> wow. And then they have, they have a new series that I have been looking forward to. I have been looking forward to, I've been waiting for uh, since uh, for so many uh, weeks. It is called The Blink Empire. It's, it came out on Netflix, um, January 15th. So guys, you need to watch it. It's, it's, if you have seen Crazy Asians, oh Lord, this is 
This is spectacular. It is about the wealth and the wealth and the wealth and the wealth issues. And you know how Asians roll? They like blink, blink, blink. All the name Brian, all I mean, all, all the names, all the Chanel, Coco, and I mean everything. So that's something for you guys to look forward to watching too. I am no, I'm gonna be bench watching it the whole weekend. Yes, and then also we have some um, interesting news, you know, going on too. You know, the Bachelor. There was a, the the uh, the the, batch, the bachelor the bachelorette or the bachelor. You know, um, they were uh, Cassin. His name is Cassin. Uh, his name is Cassin. Uh, uh, Cassie uh, Cressley. That's what his name is. He is, um, he is a lot of things, you know, he's a host of so many shows, like he did an interior design show on HBO, and uh, no, on H, um, HTV, you know, HDTV, it was wonderful, and then he's been like a fashion person, he's a fashion designer, and then also he's a TV personality, and also, I think now he's also, he's a judge on drag queens, you know, he was on, um, the, the real, um, the real TV, the real, the show called The Real, on television, and he was asked by Gasil, uh, by one of the hosts, you know, since he has conquered so many worlds in the television worlds, and what is he looking most looking forward to, being uh, cast as, you know, and during that time, he said that he would love to be a bachelor, on the Bachelor show, so. Is America ready for that? <laughs> That's my question to you guys. Is America ready to have a gay guy as a bachelor on the ABC network? That's what I wanted, to, I wanted, wanted you guys to so comment below and let me know if America is ready. You know, Cassie is a wonderful person. I know he's going to be very entertaining. You know, he is very... Um, I, I've watched him in several of his uh, movies or several of his shows. He is very entertaining. So I know I'll have lots of popcorn, you know, to eat with that one. <laughs> so comment below and let me know um, if America is ready for a gay bachelor. You know, that's what I'm, that's what I'm asking. So uh, comment below and let us know what you guys think about it. You know, and if ABC is, is listening, we've had a, we've had a, 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 a black... Um, or oh, a black bachelor, so well, maybe it might be time to have a gay bachelor. Who knows? <laughs> so, um, it was interesting, you know, um, hearing him say that, you know, the world is changing all the time and um, different things are happening. So, uh, comment below and let me know what's going on. So, that is about all that we have for you today. You know, as always, I will bring you all the juiciest. I also forgot to tell you about how Kamala met her husband. Kamala met her husband as a blind date, you know, and then she was a senator and he was an entertainment uh, lawyer. So he, she said before she met him, she Googled him. Do you Google people on, that you meet for blind dates? <laughs> as I said, the world is changing. She said she Googled him and not only that, he went out on a first date and he said he was smitten by her and he gave her his calendar for the next four months. Would that have been scary to you? Let me know. Comment below, you know, if that would have been scary to you or would you have found that very romantic? I think I would have found it very romantic. I don't know. You know? <laughs> Well, it's been wonderful bringing you guys all the juicy um, hot topics around going on. I will keep you informed. Don't forget to set your DV arrow for all those movies I mentioned. And don't also have a fabulous weekend. You know that? Have a fabulous weekend. Enjoy yourself. Always stay blessed and be fabulous. From your girl, Fabulous Addie. Bye for now. Till next Friday. See you again. Bye. You should see the things we do.